Welcome everybody to the Paint Basket online art classes. And today we're going to be carrying on with our watercolor still life with the uh, pomegranates and the lamp. And we've already had, what, three sessions already. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the glass. Now a lot of people struggle with glass. I did right in the beginning as well too, just the same as everybody else. So if you're struggling, doesn't matter. If it's the first time and you think you're making a mistake, fantastic, because you only learn by your mistakes. And uh, then you do the next one and you can see all right and then you can compare the previous one to the other. And uh, glass, although normally very simple to do, is it just needs those just a few little tricks to make it look like glass. Okay, so I'm going to be attempting to do that today. So let's go over and have a look at our painting, along the our painting at the, the main uh, photograph. So those that are new can see exactly what we're doing. There we have it. And that is what we're going to be doing. And then just now I'll show you how far we've got. So you've got that lovely glass effect coming through. And uh, you have the, it's been professionally set up with the lighting to get the lighting just right and to get the nice, the proper contrast inside here that brings out the, the, um, the essence of the whole painting. Okay, so let's go over now to the, uh, and, right, now, there we have what we have done so far. We've come along, and let me get my little talking stick. And uh, we've done the pomegranate, we've done the one that is uh, been cut open. Uh, this one has got less detail than that one because we don't want it to compete with that. Slightly darker, slightly different color as well too, because of the shade. So this one is the main focus between these two. And then we've done the board and all the little pups across here, <clears throat> done it impressionistically. And then we went on to come and start the, the uh, bowl of the lamp. Now that has still got a slightly little ready tinge, which we need to just put a little bit of a glaze over that to bring it more to the copper effect. This is just uh, sort of um, halfway finished. We'll do that when we start doing the lamp. And then we're going to use masking fluid first in here. The masking fluid in here, we dry it, and then we're going to go over, paint this one, and then we're going to go over and paint that one. And of course, um, I hope you've got your some of your um, color that you've got here in here. If you haven't, you can mix them up. That is doesn't have to be exactly the same. The simple reason is that you're looking through the glass, and the glass can change your, your, your tonal effect in here. Make it, in some sections, lighter, and some maybe just as dark as that one there, depending on the actual area that's uh, reflecting through the globe. Now, this here is a, is a cylinder, so the one side can reflect a little bit differently to the, to the other side due to the lights that come on. Okay, <clears throat> so we need to do is we're going to I'm going to zoom in to this little area first, and then we're going to put the masking fluid on that one. We'll go next to this one. We put some masking fluid in there. We'll paint this one, and then we'll come back to there. So let's get into the area. I'm going to move this a bit. There. I just make this that it doesn't move. Okay, now let's start now. I've got my, <coughs> my masking fluid here. Take that off. I've done the little 
tipping arrangement without shaking it. And there's, there's two ways that we can do. I need to put the reference print in there for me. Uh, yes, please. Yes, let's zoom into that little area there. Yeah, we we'll start at the top, then we'll we'll go downwards. There we go. Right. <clears throat> now, the very thin little lines, you can either use that, or and I'll, I'll I'll demonstrate with both of them, or you can use the. Um, Riga brush, this Riga brush that I've got here is a uh, number two. Um, I have another number one somewhere, but the number two will do fine. The thing is, when you pick this up, you, you're going to get a blob. You're going to get a blob across there. <clears throat> it's just to just tip that one, and then you can come back and have a look. And we see we've got some nice little thin lines across here. It's just I can just just see where the lines are. Sometimes you have to remember you don't always see this one right near the edge. And it's on this little edge. And there's a few other little ones, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the other. And you've got another little reflection down this side. And these other ones will come right up here. And so I'm going to put a little bit here on the edge. And forget that if it's in the wrong place, it doesn't matter. You can always come along and with a dark open cover up what is there. Now I'm going to go over to the rigger brush. <coughs> and when I do that, I'm first going to wet it so we don't get the masking fluid going inside. It stays on the outside. So take that, take that little blob off. And then we have here, I'm going to bring that down, we have that reflection, there's, there's actually two side lights, uh, one from this side, one from that side, and that is reflecting on here, and there's another little, little one down here somewhere. Okay, if we get a little bit, there we go, thank you. So now we've got this other one somewhere along here coming along. Down this edge, we have this, I've got this little line here, that blue line, I'm going to put that in, for the shape. And then here, just add a couple. In here, we have that, that brighter area. A very thin little line on the edge here. Oh, what have I done there? Okay. I'll let that dry and I'll lift that up. Got some masking fluid on the main background. If I pick it up now, while it's wet, it will make spots. So here we have that nice little yellow reflection coming up here. And a few little dotted ones along this line. It's not, not a straight line. And then here we have these reflections. You can make it a little bit bigger than what you think it is, 
because we can always come in and uh, you've got that lighter area. So let's make that a little bit bigger and we'll tone that down as we go along. Across here too, you have some reflections coming in. A few little ones down here. In. And when you put these reflections in, look at the air, the um, contour that's coming in. You need to, to see that. Right, and here, you get my pencil. There's a little um, cord that comes in. Now, I went on over here a little bit too much. So I'm going to just bring that pencil mark out a bit more. And then I want to keep that light because it's, there's a piece of dark there. I'm going to take that cord and I'm going to fill that in with masking fluid. There you go. And... Uh, I think that should just about do it for the moment. Let's see, it's still a bit wet, so let's go over to the to the other side. Bring it up a little bit. I'm going to do this other glass here, yes. There we go. But before I do that, let me just uh, wipe my brush. I don't want to, so I don't get a problem with the masking fluid. That's still okay. Because I use the same brush for painting and for masking fluid as I do for painting. There we go, that's going to be a bit better now that you can see what I'm doing. Thank you. Right, now let's go. Now we look at the glass again. You, in the um, template, you've got that one. This is where that blue line comes down. It must be a reflection from a window, coming across from the window. And reflecting across there, there's a few little ones here. Got, I'm going to put a little line along the edge here as well. I can always re reduce it a bit as I as we go along. Right, we on the tip here. I'm going to put a very thin little line along the top here. The reflection of the top edge. Around the top, on that line, pencil line. And just for Mozzie. Let's just go and use this one again. And you've got some little reflections across here. A few little dots across here. All lots of little reflections inside this area here. I think here, yeah, I'm just going to fill this up here. But I'm going to just do it with lines. So if there's um, 
paint gone in between here, it's still in the form of the lines there. Same as we got across here. Uh, well, the time it'll, the masking fluid takes to dry uh, will depends if you do it in the summertime and it's nice and hot, it won't take too long to, to dry. But uh, in the winter time, and you'll, you'll see I'll be doing it now because I can't wait for it to dry. We, you know, I, I, I use my um, hair dryer. A lot of people say, oh, you can't use a hair dryer for that. Of course you can. I've been doing it for years and I've had absolutely no problem at all. Get some more down here. And we, down this area here now we have quite a bit of uh, light, so I'm going to put, start putting some in. But I'm still using it in the sh shape of the glass. So that's any stripes that you put in will not confuse with the uh, the molding of the glass at all. So let's put, put some more down here. A lot of reflections down the bottom of the glass. If you overdo it down the bottom here, it doesn't matter. Rather put a little bit too much in than have absolutely nothing at all. Because we have the dark color still that we can use to do that. <clears throat> right, now this part here, where the stem of the glass comes down, I'm actually going to take another brush here and I'm going to fill that in. So it's there when we uh, come to do the cloth. And the cloth is dark and we don't want to interfere with our glass. So rather, I'm going to put that a lot while I'm busy. Carefully along the edge. When you do it, don't try to use it too thinly. Put a nice blob down. Much easier to, to spread when you've got a, enough liquid. If you haven't got enough, what happens is you tend to have what they call little pinholes. If you've done any screen printing at all, you'll know what I'm talking about when you're talking about pinholes. Sometimes you can't see them, but when you do your finish your printing, you have all the little spots coming up where you didn't want them to be. Okay, so there we go. That let's have a look. Is <clears throat> yeah, the other ones we can sort of um, lift out, etc. We would need to, but oh yeah, here's this little bright spot here. We need to keep that little bright spot. We got one there, got one here. So that's the one that makes the 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 glass come alive. I think that's about enough at the moment, so let's put the, close that up nice and tight. <clears throat> Just clean the brush. Just make sure there's no paint, uh, masking fluid on it. Clean the other one, just make sure. There we go. So those are ready for for painting. I don't know how uh, people say they ruin their brushes. Just a little trouble and you have no problem at all. All right, that masking fluid there is still there. I'm not sure whether it's dry yet, but anyway, I'm gonna not touch it at the moment. Okay, so now we need to come along and 
take a look at the actual glass itself. There. Oops. I better put my cup of coffee somewhere else because I, <laughs> I nearly put my paintbrush in it. But that doesn't matter. It's happened many, many times. As long as you don't start drinking the water out of your. Sorry? Oh, okay. Okay, let's do that. You got the masking. See, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the dry the masking fluid. Okay. There we go. No problem at all. Leave some masking tape just now too. Right, now we set up so we can see this whole lot here. Now, what I want to do first I'm going to put the lighter color in first, and then we can always uh, tone it down where we need to. So, the colors that we're going to use, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper across there for protection. I'm going to put my... There, you can just see what we've got, so that's fine. Now, we need some little touch of yellow. And I'm using um, lemon yellow, so let's put a little touch in there. Just you only need a tiny little touch, and there's a little touch of got blue, and we'll make the green out from that one. I've got some. Ultramarine. Mm. A bit watery in that one. Okay, there we go. You don't need a lot. And what else? We need a little touch of orange. So let's take a, a tiny touch of orange. I've got enough in here. I've got some orange in there. That's more than enough because we're going to be using just very thin layers. We're not painting very, very thick. Okay, now we're going to have a look and see. We've got a little touch of yellow. And always have a piece of paper handy. What I normally have little bits and pieces you can see here that I've been using and it's the same paper that I'm actually painting on so always come along and use your test strip to see the color before you put it on once you put it on sometimes it's hard to if it's especially in a dark one you're going to get in trouble the lighter color is always easy to fix so there's a little there's a yellowy tinge at the top end here so let's just Paint that in there very, very lightly, slightly down this side, and we have this little yellow glow on the side here. When you come to this here, go very, very lightly so that you don't lift up this color. Now the brush I'm using here is a full bit. Uh, it's a number six. I don't know, there's no make on it here. If it has, it's been worn off, but that's, it's got a rounded tip, and you've got that, so I can use a cutting edge or a bigger edge. So I've got there, there's a little touch of yellow in this area. Be 
preserved all the whites anyway, so that's all right. So you can go over that. So, you now if I was doing this on my own, I would have gone and added some yellow in the other one, but let's do that as when we come to that one. So now I've got that. And let's have a look and see. You've got a slight little touch of blue. So let's see. Put a little bit here. Take it. Okay. That's good enough. Now we're going to come along, and I'm having a look. There's a little bit of a... Okay. Now that blue stripe is what we've uh, put the masking fluid, so we can come in with that afterwards. But still, there's a little blue tinge down the bottom here, so let's put some down here. And then next to that one, I'm going to put a little touch of blue. Without losing... that little yellow strip across there. So we need to do this work slowly, nicely, because we want to get this nice effect. There's also a little bit of a blue tinge here. A bit of a blue tinge across here. If it goes a slightly green, it doesn't matter, because we got this um, other background. There. Down there. Okay. So let's do that. Now I'm going to pick up some of this <coughs> this other darker color that we had mixed before for the background. You can see it's got that. It's got a, a, a when it lightened up, it's actually a, like a greeny black. And then, now we're going to start light and slowly build up. So, now where is your darkest area? We've got that thin there, so let's put a little line. And once you start putting this up, you can actually start seeing where your, your masking fluid is. Let's put a little light layer across here. Oops, so I'll do that. The darker in the center, so we can darken that up a little bit. Start with the lighter, putting it in lightly first. Much easier to fix up and lift off if you need to. Let's put a bit here. Then I know I've got that thinner. Then you, down the center, let's take it, you can actually start making this a little bit darker here. What is happening? Being glass, seeing through, some of the background is, is, is um, shining through. So we can start, you can actually put this whole lighter color over here. Don't go over that piece of yellow. And when I'm doing this, my eye is flicking backwards and forwards from the reference print. So that you don't lose the effect of the of the glass. See, once you've got the background in, you can come back and slowly start darkening up the areas. Yeah. Right, now I've got some, some nice darks in here now. So 
because this area next to it is slightly damp, we, we're not getting a, a real hard line at this stage. Let's bring that in here. Oh, isn't that Rory? No, you, it's, you're thinking of Nolan. Nolan. Nolan's my son. He also does uh, paintings as well, too. And while we're talking here, <clears throat> maybe you can uh, also, if you're enjoying it, come along and like this video. As we're doing along, we really appreciate that. Right. Slowly we're building it up. Slowly we It's taken a long time. Big thing here is not to. And we got there where the wick is. <clears throat> we need to be careful of that one. So we want that really nicely dark against that one so that the wick shows up. Just putting a little touch there to make it a bit on the rough side on the top. And we come down the side. Now I've got masking fluid there, so I can actually go over that and hope the masking fluid is, is working nicely. Down into there. And it's a bit darker here now. There we are, so the wick is starting to show up. doing this all lightly here we can also come back because we've got the light main one of the lights is coming on from this side so I'm going to just do that lightly at this stage nice to be this light is easy to lift out some of the colors you're gonna go much much darker still than this but you can see sort of a glint of the of the uh, glass starting to show up. Over that marking fluid, it doesn't matter. And this bottom end here is a little bit darker here, so let's Carefully, maybe we need to use a smaller brush. Basis, you haven't got the one that you're scared of doing the you know, tiny little areas. So take one here now. Let's take that nice and quick. Now we can use the the smaller brush. Come in, carefully come across this area here. We don't lose the edge of this top end. Quite dark in here, so let's darken that one up. I'm not using too much water, I'm trying to get this as thick and creamy as possible. There we go. We've got some other darker areas. It's coming right in here. It's 
Don't forget, if you think you can't get it quite dark enough, you can wait until you can, we can dry it, and then carefully put another layer over the top, so you have a double layer of pigment that um, covers up the previous one and makes it, in other words, you get a double layer of pigment. At the moment when it's too wet, you just keep on shifting it around. Yeah, a little bit lighter. Blocking in first, then we'll do some smoothing later. Area has a bit darker, like this side. Oops. Keep it up there. Then getting a bit darker down this area. And I'm still putting it in the shape of the the glass. Because don't forget, any vertical lines on the outside will reflect on here, but they will give you reflecting in the shape. So if, even if you made a mistake, that could be a reflection from something else that you don't see. And is out of sight. So this one can... Come up. See this area here, I needed to... Keep that little bit, there's a reflection there, so let's lift that up quickly. Let's clean the brush. Just a nice clean water. Carefully touch this area where we need to. Tip it. And there we got that nice little area which we can then work a bit later on. Okay. Now, if you're going to dry that, I'm going to put another layer over the top. Okay, look, at this. Don't forget, there's still masking fluid underneath as well, too. So people say you can't use a hairdryer. Not a problem. Right, now very lightly, I'm going to put another layer over the top here. Feel the light I'm putting it on. A little bit down this side. And it's quite darker from here. It starts getting a bit darker. All in this area. Open that one up. You see when you come and you put on just a light layer over the top, and put it on without lifting up the, uh, the color underneath. Please go up there. Not so much on this side, because this is where you've got the Main light coming, one of the lights coming from this side. A bit dark down here. Which is quite nice, you're dark against the light. That lovely contrast. And in this little area here, there's some nice dark. We can always come back and add some more. Lovely in here. Down is the right of the top. I'm going to get that open area there. Hey, so. 
I think it's almost time for taking off the masking fluid. So I'm going to clean my brush. Fine. Right, paper must be 100% dry before lifting up. You've noticed I've tested the paper not with my front of my hand, I've tested it with the back of my hand. Otherwise you start getting some of the, any oiliness or sweatiness going on to there. So now I'm going to take a piece of masking tape, like that, and then I'm going to not pick it up, I'm going to pull it across. There, and pull it across. So let's get all this marking fluid off. Make sure that we've got everything off. Okay, now we can start toning down. Now we have to do it carefully so we don't lose all the areas. We've lost a little bit of the yellow, so let's pick up a little bit of the, the yellow and just give a bit of a yellow tinge. We'll go like a greeny color. And this little bit down here. Yeah, we put the yellow on there over the masking fluid so that <laughs> so that yellow has disappeared. So the, so let's take a bit of that. Carefully put some on there. And just a little bit in this area. Let's put some of the blue color in. Then we don't forget it, so it's in this area here. We have some more of that, and this this one here. And there's a little tinge up the top end here. Yep. Blue, not yellow. And I will put a bit down here. So there we start getting some of the reflection. Right. Now I'm going to start right here. This pulled up this lighter line, so let's just take that out, see if I can lift some of that out. Here we can sort of tone that in, this area is toned in a little bit. This one here is toned in a little bit. The only pure white places, these two lines at the top, and this little spot here, and this spot here. That's the only pure white. All the rest is toning in, so I'm going to take some of that and tone that in. You just sort of see those little reflections. Let's work up the top end here. Uh, if 
for the white to show up, you need the dog next to it. Actually, the white line should have been there, a little bit further to the left, but it doesn't matter. We can keep that there. And this area here can, next to it is going to be a bit darker. As it goes, turns around the corner, get a bit lighter. Turn that down ever so slightly. But also some little yellow. Just a little bit of blue on my brush, so let's get take that off, take a bit more of the yellow. Just toning that down. In that line is going that way. It should have actually been turned this way. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to tone that down a bit. Working this side, there's also a little touches of blue. It's a masking fluid that shouldn't have been there, this one here. I'm going to tone that away. And I said, I'd rather have too much than too little. You can always skim some of it away. Now, we have this reflection. What happens is there's a bit of a glow around it. So I'm going to slowly Work a bit of a glow around, but leave a little white spot, tiny white spot. Give you that glow. So, to be toned down a little bit more. This other one there is a little spot there. And I'm going to take a bit of this orange. We've got this little cord that's going down here. Some orange down the bottom, but don't touch the top end because that's a nice glint. When that's a bit dry, we'll put in the the shadow. But there's a little, well, we got this dark color. We can add this in here. See, I've just seen something here. This is a 
it straight here. I'm going to do something. Let's see what we can do. Get that a bit straighter. So I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to turn that around. Can you see when you turn it around, you're looking at it differently, the way that your 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 brain doesn't quite recognize it now, that's too straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully see whether I can fix this up. I'm going to start lifting. little bit by little bit to get that rounding back. Where is my cloth? Slowly coming right, so we need a little bit more. Nicely merge with that one here. And let's turn it around and have a look. Okay, this little corner here can still come out a little bit. This is one of those unexpected things that happen. But we're trying to get it that it looks correct. So we bring that out. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to that there. I'm going to pick it up a little bit because I'm going to be working there on that. So now we need to come back and we touch up that area and I need some more yellow but this time I've used a bit so I'm going to have to take a bit more out and put some in there and we're coming along this edge Looks a little bit better. And we need some more of the darker. Get back into that. Just while that's nice and wet, you get that nice merging coming in. Gives you a nice glow from the lamp on the uh, spotlight on this on the right hand side. Just nicely touch that in. glow from the side There's a little bit too much here so let's just spot some of that in and I'm going to add a little touch of orange inside here we have this color here as well, just to sort of warm it up a little bit. Then I'm going to 
smooth it out so it's not too prominent. It will be just very subtly there. Okay, now I'm going to not on the photograph, it doesn't show you, but I'm going to put a little bit of a, a line through here. There's a reflection on the... Uh, did too much there. Lifted up all that color. <laughs> Quite a bit of blue on the side from the window. And not coming up as nice as I wanted it to be, but it doesn't matter. I need a little bit of a shadow. Here with this cord is goes into there. Now here's a little bit of a uh, some gaps inside here. And the air comes through. Okay, so we got that. We'll put a little line across here. I know it's not 100% to the photograph, but I'll tell you what, nobody else is going to query it. All right, let's have a look and see. What, any questions at this stage? Uh, yeah, the, the masking fluid, yes. Well, what happens is, you can, it doesn't matter what the quality, you can have a, I'm just looking at the query there from Maria, you can have a very uh, good quality paper, but don't forget the paper is made for a different, uh, situations. You have the hot pressed one, which is gone through rollers that is very hot and the, and it's squashed down and it's a very hardish paper. It's not as rough as the other and um, that you can do a, a lot of erasing and stuff on that particular paper if you want to come along and lift etc. Then you have the other one like I've got here at the moment which is what they call cold pressed. because the same rollers but it's it's not it's not uh, done through heat, and uh, then you get other ones that doesn't really go through rollers at all. They soft is not meant for masking fluid, and uh, as I mentioned earlier in, in one of the previous uh, uh, episodes for what we're doing at the moment, is that I lost a lot because I didn't check the paper. When you do, always check the masking fluid against a like this one little piece here, like I've got a little, like that, but that you're painting on, put some masking fluid on there, a couple of places, let it dry 100%, you can close some of it if you want to, put the hair dryer on this one, and leave it for a while, and, off, and then be, uh, paint over it, let it dry 100% before, must be dry before you um, lift off, otherwise you, you're going to pick up the fibers of the paint and it's going to ruin your painting. And you can do that and check your uh, masking fluid on your paper, it doesn't matter what type of paper, beforehand, save you a lot of heartache and tears.
Okay, because that was the question here by Mari, which is, yeah, it would not come off, although it was a good quality uh, Osh paper. Right, let me see. Either, there was, the next one says, either very soft. Well, I've not really had any trouble with the different types of masking fluid, but obviously there's different makes on the on, on, on the market, but you have to, the paper must, as mentioned there, must be 100% dry before you uh, you lift off. It must also be 100% dry before you put it on as well, because if you put it on when it's wet, it will soak, it will bond in with the fibers, and when you lift it off, it will just pull the fibers along with it. Uh, well, masking loads, the shelf life. Well, I've I've had, really had a problem. I mean, I've used masking fluid that I've had for years, and uh, but as I said, the main thing that you need to do is always try uh, test it on the paper that you're going to be using. Okay, let's finish this little piece off here. I think I'm going to lift this up a bit. Get up so we get into there when I want that bowl, and that's a little bit on the ready side. Let's take this paper off here. Oop, we're stuck to the masking fluid. Right, I've got masking fluid on there, but let's. What I want to do now is I just want to check. I think this has come off on the paper at the back here. Yeah, oh, there we go. Fortunately, it hasn't ruined my paper, my background. It is so light that you can hardly see it. Okay, the, there we have the effect. Actually, the top end, a little bit too, I need to tone that down. It's still a little dark in the center, but a little bit more. Let's darken that center bit up a little bit. As I said before, I, uh, that white line should have been a little bit to the left, but I can, doesn't have to be absolutely white. I've lifted up some of the paint there a bit, and I'm just dabbing it on. Then the top edge as well too. That white line is not shouldn't be there. So let's very carefully. I'm just going to dab that on with a damp brush. Take a little bit up there. You can just see just see the top edge. So I'm dabbing it on now instead of uh, get a bit more. But let me just fix that up. The top fell off. <laughs> Just toning down that outer edge a little bit here. Okay, we've actually come to the end of the hour, but before we do that, I just want to clean my brush. And my one here is a little bit too ready, so I'm going to take a bit of the orange on here. Let's bring it up there. And I'm going to put a 
Egla is a bit of an orange glaze on there. Too much. The handle and this part here will be do we we'll do that when we do the the cloth. back to that nice color I'm going to use a little touch of uh, yellow ochre so I'm going to put a little touch of yellow ochre oops that's almost too much it doesn't matter and a little bit of water I want it very very like a glaze And I'm going to just glaze it over the top. It gives you bring it to that that copper that copper effect. You can see it sort of coming to that copper effect there now. You know, ochre is slightly uh, opaque. I'm going to do it very softly. And it's becoming closer now to the color that we want. Because I mentioned last time that I was going to put this glaze over. Very softly. Don't, don't scrub. If you scrub, you're going to lift the, the background up. This one here is a little bit too light, so I just want to lift that up. Okay, right. I'm happy with that. Except I need a little hint along the top here. Not on the edge, it's a very bright. I'm putting a little hint just here. Here we go. So let's move them out and see what we've done so far. Let's bring that down. There we go. Right. Here we have the, the effect of the glass coming through. And now you're going to have a little bit of homework. So you've got this glass, you've got your reference photograph. You've seen how I've put the masking fluid down, how I've slowly built it up. And um, I want you to complete, keep this masking fluid down the bottom here. Leave that, but I want you to complete this top bit except this little bit down the bottom here at the stem. I want you to complete all that piece up top here for me. Yeah. And then the, the, the next class is we're going to then complete, do, it's going to take quite a bit of time. There's a lot of marking fluid coming on to here too. So it's going to take a full hour to, to do this uh, cloth here nicely. Because then we've got to also fix up this little area here that is in the shade. So, I think we, we can call it a day, but first let me just have a good look through here, quickly. Looking great. Now, it's not as difficult as it first seems. So, it's just a few little tricks that you need to do. Right, let's see, I think that's about, 
everything. Nobody else is. What I'll do, I'm going to sign off and then if there's a check and see if there's, I'll answer any questions after that. So let's go. Okay, well, we hope that you've enjoyed today and uh, all going well. We should be able to finish off uh, the, the class in the next session. And if you have enjoyed watching this class, you can always watch more on our online artlessons.com website. And we have uh, over 500 more of these classes for you to go through. A lot of projects for you to go through. So until we meet again next week at the same time, keep well. Ciao for now.